is lights out and away we go here in Shanghai. And who's going to get the lead into the first corner? It looks like an amazing start from Armar Car, but a terrible start for George Rogan's Quad has actually jumped Rogan. He's trying to attack Car into the first corner. Down towards turn one. Has Quad, has Quad got the lead off Car? As they go side by side through turn two, through into turn three as well. They go side by side around the corner. Car is just going to hold on. Macho got up to third briefly, but it looks like Burn. He's try sorry, Rogan is trying to get the place back, but Macho owns on and Rogan has been swerved. He's got the flag already into the first corner. And it's Miklos Gal. Gal is out of the race. That is a huge accident. He made contact with Joseph Willows at the first corner. And, uh, well, I think you could say that might be a racing incident. Willows was entitled to be there. And I just think Gal just wasn't paying attention. Might be a similar situation here. He's gone a bit slow. And... Oh, I think that was a little bit of clumsy driving. We did uh, mention this before uh, the, uh, the race started, that uh, starting in the mid-pack may be a disaster, and, uh, well... He's been hit by Patel. Yeah. And uh, we mentioned as well that Burns got further damage down at this corner, and he got tapped by one of the Aston Martins there. Luckily, that Aston Martin didn't get damaged. That was Juventus Martins, in fact. <laughs> Running there, trying to have a go at Mocho there, but Mocho covered it, but I think Perrinan's going to have a good run on Mocho going down into the hairpin. There's these still yellow flags down at uh, at the hairpin there where uh, Chris Chatfield got taken out as they now make their way towards the hairpin. This is surely the move done for Perrinan now, and as it goes side by side down towards the hairpin now, then after the back straight down the inside goes Perrinan, and that is P4 for the Spaniard. Up into fourth place goes Jesus Perrinan. Next target for him is Franco Lopez in third position as he tries to close up on the other runner of Roman Quag. Perrinan currently flying on this stint to the moment as the Spaniard is now going to attack Lopez for third position. He's now going to look to the inside. Is Perrinan going to get P3 from Lopez? And look at the straight line speed that he has got in that car. Though Lopez is going to try and stick with him alongside. Going down towards the hairpin. This is sure the move done for Perrinan. Unless Lopez leaves his braking a little bit later. But he can't. And Perrinan is up into third position. The Spaniard currently flying at this stage. And if he can make this strategy work, of course. But anyway, now Perinan has got to run on Roman Quag now. Then as they make their way down towards the back straight, Perinan in the selection of Quag. This should be the move done on the inside of his French teammate now. Then as they go side by side down towards the hairpin now, they will go. Is Perinan going to get second place off of his teammate? I don't think Quag will want to fight him too much here because they're both on strict strategies. And Perinan up into second place. And that's P2 for the Spaniard. Now, can he go and catch after Omar Carr up in front? As meanwhile, just behind, that was Galloway getting by on Michael Mott. Wilson trying to catch up on the man who left Alfa Romeo to go to Aston Martin as all Wilson trying to have a go all bit of contact there might be a little bit of a bump and run here but Federi saying no to that you're not getting through that easily and it's allowed Kirishima De Rosa now to close this fight again De Rosa power qualifying but just like in Australia showing some very very good race pace in that McLaren and now he's going to try and attack Wilson for 11th place as they go side by side down towards the hairpin now then can De Rosa get the move on on Amelia Wilson now then Danny inside he will go now then into the hairpin and that is P11 I thought for a minute there he was going to run into the derby but thankfully he didn't he's up into P11 in fact he's going to go side by side with the derby he's already got the move done on the derby here he's going to go side by side looks like that's it. Oh, not quite there. Looked like Vaderi actually made a mistake. And now Wilson getting back in this fight using Vaderi as a bit of leverage to go through. Could she get the pair of them here? Down into the first corner. It's very, very close indeed. Wilson down the inside. And she takes P10 with ease. What a move from Amelia Wilson. As the Rosa now goes onto the inside of Vaderi now. And through to turn two. I think he's got the move done. And yes, he has. So Vaderi. Uh, yeah, I think uh, unless he can get the job done on this lap, I think uh, he's kind of wasted his chances. All oh, contact there between Patel and Griffiths, and Griffiths is around, and uh, he's lost a bit of front wing. I wonder if he's seeing a little bit of red mist in this race, I wonder. But you could see there, there was a bit of a gap opening there, but it was clearly a little bit too tight to fit a car there. And as a result, because of Griffiths spinning, it meant he spun right into the path of Patel. Yep. And let's see where will he rejoin. When in will he rejoin in traffic? We'll find out. That is an amazing move from Jake Galloway. Very risky, but he was able to get the job done. Now coming around the banked right hand and Allen. Is Galloway going to get the move done on Roman Quag now? Then he's on this slip stream. He's going to go to the inside. Can Galloway pull the move off on Roman Quag into the hairpin? Galloway having a fantastic race here in Shanghai so far in that Ferrari. Down the inside. He will go now then into the hairpin. And he's got the move done. Galloway up into second place. Uh, did he get him around the outside here? Let's have a look. Around the outside through into the left hander. Did Macho lock up by any chance? And uh, no, you know what? That is overtaking the season right there. What an amazing move from Hayes' point. As uh, we will see how quick the stop is going to be then from the Mercedes mechanics as he pits on the end of lap 18 
of the race now then. So let's see how quick this stop is going to be then from the Mercedes mechanics as Carr makes his first pit stop of the race here. So he pulls into his box and he'll put on a fresh set of tyres and fuel now then. And let's see, 21 laps of fuel. So yep, that is a two stop for our Marcar. As uh, it's a 5.5 second stop. In fact, that's four temps quicker than Hayes' Perinin's pit stop from earlier on. As uh, Valdinger is, of course, coming into the pits this lap for Alfa Romeo. I did see his pit indicator just earlier on. Uh, through goes Ooh, Lopez. And uh, where is Perinin Perinin's on the race track? Yep, he's ahead. Perinin, Perinin's through. Perinin is actually through. He's got the jump on our Marcar and uh, will take the lead. Of the already on the back of Lopez and uh, trying to overtake him before Carr can get onto the back of him now. There's a Perinan now onto the inside now. Then we'll go the Spaniard as they go side by side down towards the hairpin now. Then is Perinan going to get the move done on Franco Lopez here in towards the hairpin? We will go and he's going to get the move done. He's later on the brakes and that's P3. It will be P2 because of course Galloway is coming into the pits this lap. So for the brief time it will be a Renault 1-2 here at China. Let's see, Perinan trying to get in the slipstream now. He's going to look to the inside. Can he get the move done? Don't hit each other, your teammates. And all oh, bit of contact there. But uh, oh, oh, oh no, it's happened again. Carr and Lopez have hit each other once again in this race. And Lopez is out of the race. At least Renault could keep it clean, but clearly Mercedes couldn't. This is like secret day swimming, but this is so different. As Perinan retakes the lead of the race, it's uh, now a switch of places for the Renault, and it will be a Renault 1-2 still, because Carr has got to pit for a new front wing. Disaster for the German manufacturer. Remember, he was behind Galloway uh, in the, before the pit stops, of course. So I would imagine Galloway is still going to be ahead of him before that, after the pit stop. Patel on the inside of Byrne. Can't get it done there. And oh, God, it's going to crash. Patel is out. And so is Evan Byrne. Both of their disastrous races are over. And they're blocking the track. The marshals need to clear them very, very quickly. Because I think uh, Sontar is going to run into these two. Okay, we're ready. Yeah. And where is Sontar? But it looks like he's actually coming to the hairpin now. And yep, oh, he's yep. pushed, uh, yeah, so he's got damage, but thankfully he's pushed those cars out of the out of the way of the racing line there. So was ahead. He was trying to get the move done on Burn. Don't know what happened. Oh, oh no! Oh, I, think, I think that might be a yellow flag overtake. I think because uh, I think that was Galloway attempting a move on. Um, and I think that was Laura Chung there, which has caused that incident. In fact, was it Vidari that might have caused it? Because he's actually with these guys. He was thinking about a move into the corner. And in fact, it wasn't even Patel or Byrne. It was actually Vidari that caused it. Did he get ahead before the corner? And the answer to that is no. So I'm afraid that is going to be five seconds for Jake Galloway. I think he's okay. What about DeRosa on Willows? I think that might be a different question here. And yeah, I think both Galloway and DeRosa are going to get five second penalties here, I'm afraid. But anyway, Quag now then on the back of Kirishima De Rosa now then through into this left-hander and De Rosa already defending the inside. Quag trying to have a go. Oh no! Oh, no. And uh, Quag has caused an incident and that's De Rosa out of the race and Quag has got damage and well, any chance for a Renault 1-2 has gone down the toilet, Ra. And oh. oh my god, he's got a flag down at turn one. It's Willows. Oh. Willows is out of the race, and it's a mechanical failure. It's a loose wheel that's taking care of Joseph Willows. And uh, well, uh, that is race over for Joseph Willows. A shame, really, because he was looking at some more points here today, Ra. Yeah, and um, that's not great for him. And no idea. And so let's see how quick the stop is going to be then for Hayes' Perinan in the Renault now, then, as he will put on a fresh set of tyres and fuel now, then. And it is a free stop, so he is going to have to make one more stop before the end of the race here. 4.6 seconds, and uh, it's going to be pretty close between him and Galloway here. Let's see. Can he get out in front of Galloway, or is Galloway going to go by? Let's see now then, as uh, they now come towards the pit exit, and uh, Perinan is going to think rejoin behind these guys. So he's going to rejoin in third position. So he's actually got to do some overtakes if he wants to win this Grand Prix. Now Carr... Coming around the long swooping right hand and now then we go. He's going to go for a run on Galloway, but it looks like Perinan has also got a run on Carr, but he's going to have to wait because Carr is going to go for a move on Galloway into the hairpin now then. Can Carr take the lead off of Jake Galloway into the hairpin side by side? They will go now then into the hairpin goes Armar Carr and he takes the lead of the race. Carr back into the lead, but how long is he going to hold on? Because of course Perinan is right behind the pair of them at this stage. 
But uh, now let's see, Perinan should get a run on Galloway as a result now. Then look how much grip he's got coming out of the banking. Perinan now onto the inside of Jake Galloway's Ferrari. They make their way onto the back straight now then. He will go into the hairpin now then. As Perinan got the move done down the inside. Goes the Spaniard in the Renault. And uh, has he got it done? I finally got it sorted there. It seems that my Discord it was uh, failing on me a bit there. But uh, anyway, Perinan now up into second place. Now Kloss trying to go for the move on Wilson down into the hairpin. As uh, Whoa, in fact, they've had to try and negotiate some traffic here. Oh, oh, oh my! Out. That was uh, a bit of a reaction. Jamie's there. out. Uh, and Gri that's why, because Griffiths was slowing, and uh, well, we saw this similar to, uh, I'm trying to think, what this was obviously, I think, in the last race as well, and uh, uh, that's that really, and Kloss is going to have to end up with, uh, sorry, uh, Wilson's going to end up with a new front wheel, it was actually Wilson that hit Roke, it wasn't Kloss, it was Wilson, in fact, that hit uh, Roke there, so she's going to have to make a pit stop. Okay, uh, so uh, 10 second time penalty for Wilson as meanwhile Perinan takes the lead from Carr. So Perinan now back into the lead of the race and could we be looking at the first ever victory for Hayes' Perinan in the top class? Yeah, and looking at the gap to Matra, it's like 27.4 seconds. So yeah, it looks like he might re he was still rejoining for you never know, we'll see. You know, Indeed, pressure. push on a fresh set of tyres, fuel to the end of gear. the race, how quick is the stop going to be? It's a 5.7 second stop from the Ferrari mechanics, so let's see where Galloway is going. I think he should still be in third because it was around 27 seconds, the gap between him and Mocho, so I think he should still comfortably come out in third position. I think Mocho is actually coming on to the, uh, the pit straight, and I think he's just going to be ahead, and yes he is. So Galloway does rejoin in third position, and I think with those fresher tyres... In he goes as he puts on a fresh set of tyres and no fuel now in, and he's going to the end, 22 laps in his wagon. And how quick is the stop? A 5.7 second stop from the Mercedes mechanics. And uh, let's see where he's going to emerge. He should still come out in front of Galloway because he was pulling away, and it's only really been a lap difference. I'd be surprised if Galloway jumps in. He is actually coming out of the Not final true. turn, but I think Carl is just going to come out onto the track as uh, yep so Carby joins the second meanwhile the two Hasses are now together as now Kloss is going to try and attack his teammate into the first corner can Kloss get fourth place of Michael Macho down the inside Macho doesn't put up too much of a fight and up into fourth place goes Barcic Kloss what an amazing combat the Polish driver has had See, as uh, both of these two used to be teammates of course back in 2010 and Wilson has crashed in that corner Juventus Martins with a rear wing issue and um they would have made it for a clean meet. they just <laughs> we're gonna see this again um it's that lockup I think it was from that lockup from Wilson that kind of caused it no pressure yeah indeed as they put on a fresh set of tires and fuel now then five seconds is the pit stop now then for Hayes's Perinan and uh let's see where he's going to emerge then after this pit stop as uh, he now trundles down pit lane now then, and he should emerge still in the lead, and yes he does. Perinan still in the lead of the Grand Prix, and uh, as long as nothing bad happens to him, he is looking good to get his first ever victory in the top class. Yes indeed, as he comes out of the hairpin for the 56th and final time, China is once again going to crown a brand new winner as he comes around the final corner for the 56th and final time. And for the first time ever, Hazes Perinan wins the Chinese Grand Prix. And Hazes Perinan is a Grand Prix winner in the top class. Finally, the Spaniard gets his first ever win. Jesus Perinen wins the race from Armar Car in second, Jake Galloway in third, with Barchish Gloss, his best ever finish in fourth, with Roman Quag in fifth, Michael Macho in sixth, Laura Chong finishes in seventh, with Ben Spaldinger in eighth, David Cupart ninth, Joantas Martins promoted to tenth, thanks to, his, thanks to Andre Vaderi's five second time penalty, which drops him to 11th. <laughs>